What is up and welcome back. My name is Brett Martineau and as always this is Think Like Me or Don't. In today's episode, mostly just that, I'm going to show you how I set up Task Warrior to keep me on track and keep me on task and make sure that I'm only doing the most important thing at any given time. One thing that I will say is if you have not gone back and watched the video that I made about how you come up with like the strategy, like how you decide which tasks go when. I made a whole video talking about you need to create this sort of priority rules for your task management. So go check that video out um, if you have not. Otherwise, without any further ado, actually, one more just tiny little ado. You really need to see this. Here we are, and I am excited about this. All right, so like I said before, we are gonna talk in the rest of this video about how we actually set up Task Warrior. Now, you probably will notice, as is gonna be a general theme through this video, the dogs are running free. So if they happen to make an appearance, if they happen to jump up on me and decide that, that it's more important that you see them, I apologize. Although I, I would imagine that you're probably more. Oh, jeez. Did you see? Panda, don't bite me in the nipple. Uh, I'd imagine you're probably more excited to see them than you are to see me. So so the first thing I want to do is hark back to the video that we made before talking about how you create your priorities. And if you remember, we'll look at it here. Uh, we, had, we listed out our five clients, how much they're paying us and kind of how much we like them. And then we created a list, list of 11 tasks, okay? So uh, we have tasks one through 11. Oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> so we have these 11 tasks and what I have gone and done, okay, okay, enough. They're so cute, but also so annoying. So what I've gone and done is actually put them into Task Warrior. So if I hit task inside Task Warrior, you can see them here. Here's our 11 tasks. And I just named them first through 11th task. Based on the client and based on, you know, how what the priority actually was of that particular task. But you can see here, because of Task Warrior, I put them in in order, in the order that they came, and they're showing up in that order. So if we were to break this off and only show the first couple of tasks, it would just be as the tasks come in, that's how the tasks are getting sorted. One thing we could do is just add a higher priority to one task versus another. So say, for example, task four, the fourth task here, is more important than task one. Well, I could just say task four, modify, and then we'd say priority H, okay? So now we've added a priority there. So now if I hit task, you can see the fourth task is gonna show up at the top only because it's got a priority on it. Now you could go through individually and just assign priorities to each of these and then that will get your tasks to show up in the right order. But what we wanna do is actually take the scores that we gave our clients and tell Task Warrior to do the sorting for us. Okay, so now we're looking at our list of, of clients and the priority and all that information. What we're gonna do is actually add down here, we're gonna put these clients into order. Okay, so we're just gonna take them down, we're gonna put them in order, and then we're gonna assign scores to them. And I'm gonna show you in a second how you can insert those scores into Task Warrior so that the, the tasks always show up in the right order, okay? So first of all, we'll take client one. Uh, we're gonna stick him or her right at the top. Then we're going to look at client two and determine should that person be above or below client one. So we'll say client two pays us a lot, but we like them less. Um, but we don't really like client one all that much. So we're going to put client two above client one because they pay us more. Now client three um, is probably more important than client one. We like them more and they pay us more per hour, even though we get less from them. Uh, but we do like them more. So we're going to put them here. Client four is 500 a month but they, and we don't really like them, but we don't dislike them, but it's consistent. So we're gonna put them above client three. And then client five is about $50 a month. It's consistent um, and it could be more than that. So we're actually gonna put them at the top. All right, so client five, two, four, three, one. That's the list in order of priority. If we have tasks that are the same priority that are due on the same day, we're gonna do them in this order. That's the idea. 
Now what I like to do is on a scale of 1 to 10, I like to give each one of these a score. And I usually start at the top and I give it 10, and then I go down so that the bottom one is a 2 or a 0. So in this case, we're going to say client 5 is a 10, and 2 is an 8, and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so client 5 is 10, client 2 is 8, client 4 is 6, client 3 is 4, and client 1 is 2. Now what we're going to do is, from our terminal window, we're going to do nano.taskrc. We're going to enter, and it's going to open up this document. This document is the configuration file for Task Warrior. It's how you tell Task Warrior how to operate. Now, what we're going to do here at the bottom of this document is we're going to add in the urgency coefficient is what it's called. Essentially, what we're doing is we're telling Task Warrior that if a task comes in and it has a particular tag, we want to bump the priority or the urgency by a certain amount. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in urgency dot UDA, which stands for user defined attribute dot tags, T-A-G-S, make sure the S is there. So now we're going to put in the tag itself. So dot C5 and then coefficient equals, and then the score we gave it before, so 10. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other four. Okay, so now what we've got is all five of our clients have been put in. We have a score that's associated with them. What this is going to do is when a task comes in, it's going to bump this, the priority, the urgency, by this particular amount. So we're going to go ahead and hit Control X to close this and save it. Y, Enter. Now what we're going to do, if I hit task and show the task list, notice this. They are completely out of order. Well, they're in a completely different order because now they're sorted by the priority that we gave it before. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that made a lot of sense to you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to make some more videos. You may have seen in the other video, I had all spread of like burn down charts and other time tracking stuff. There's a lot you can do with Task Warrior, so I want to show you some of that. But for this one, hopefully that helps you to just prioritize your tasks and get a list that you can work with on a day-to-day -day basis. My name is Brett Marno. This has been Think Like Me or Don't. We'll see you in the next video. Peace!